I decided to go with a two pound eight ounce can of yams just so it's slightly bigger and then I found a one pound eight ounce uh, can of pasta sauce and also this uh, pasta sauce is similar it just has a raised rib at the bottom and it actually has a lip at the top so hopefully it'll make it easier if I make this hole nice and small, should be able to pop it down through and it'll end up sitting somewhere around that region. What? Make this a little bit easier? Uh, a center punch makes this a good deal easier. Um, so I'm just going to pop that down in there. Not have it roll away. I'm gonna get this all cleaned up here. Better from punching in with the hole saw. I'm gonna set it on here. I'm gonna take a sharpie and just Well, the line didn't quite turn out perfect, but it gives me a good idea. And I think that's gonna be about it. So I take my tin snips and I like to bring it out. Should get a really close idea. Alright. Next up we're going to use a Dremel tool. Uh, safety glasses. Remember every scratch on here is something that didn't hit your eyes. And uh, I still like having a little bit of ear protection because this thing gets kind of loud. And it just kind of annoys me. So uh, we're going to clean up this hole a tiny bit here. I think we're gonna call that good for now. So now, what I'm gonna work on is I wanna mark the holes uh, for this because I found once you pop this open, the can doesn't hold quite as well uh, to the center punch because it takes a good amount of pushing uh, all the way around the edge to uh, get that where we want it. Some of this is probably going to be um, off camera, but I'll show you in just a second what we're, what we're doing. Real quick, uh, I hooked it to the, uh, I lined the masking tape up at the edge of my table here. So, yeah, yeah, you can just go around the top of this and just bam, 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 bam with a bunch of holes. Um, either way would work, but uh, because you have to push down with the center punch real hard, I, I do find that leaving the cap on until you get these marked, well, we're going to find that hopefully that works. And I... And follow all those dimples 
to get my inner ring, but I do have to get the cap off. All right, so I got them rinsed out. Again, I can't stress enough. We're going to be using these to burn, so don't put your hand in there and try to wash everything out. This is really, really sharp. But yeah, as you can see, we got a number of rings around it. Uh, I haven't, I don't want to try to pop this in quite yet because hopefully once it goes in, that'll be the last time it ever does anything. Uh, and it stays popped in, but we're not going to do that quite yet. Um, and then we're just going to put a couple of holes around the bottom. There doesn't really need to be much of a rhyme or reason, but I'm going to take my center punch here and just kind of estimate it where I'm going to want a couple holes. All right, so that's uh, where we ended up at. Since that little one wasn't necessarily intended, I'm going to leave it small just because. So we got all these around the edge, these in the bottom, and now this can's going to get some a couple bigger holes uh, around the bottom. So I'm going to end up taping this off and then laying out the tape again. Also what I found, and it's going to be kind of hard to show, is with the screwdriver, if you just kind of push, and it, it's easier to do uh, on the side, um, like this, uh, you kind of get a little bit, I'm, uh, I'm trying to, so left handed anyway. What you want to do is push down on it while you also roll. And what you can see is it's starting to push that lip in a little bit. And notice all I'm doing really is just pushing down. And I held the screwdriver on an angle. And I just, I'm kind of doing this sort of motion. To get that edge to knurl down in. And it's really, really close, but I want to try to get a couple problems. If this is going to do exactly what I need it to. Um, but I have a brick here. And I'm just going to try. That's exactly what we were hoping for. Yeah, buddy. 
So now it's got that ring of holes on the inside. The bottom probably could have used a couple more holes. I might have a long enough drill bit that later I can add that. And then inside you can see the bottom of that can.